What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be doing Chapter 3, Problem 2, in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th Edition textbook by Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 3 is all about vectors, and in Problem 2, we are given the magnitude and direction of a vector, and asked to compute its x and y components. And so the first thing that I want to do is just draw a quick little picture. So we'll say this is our xy coordinate. This is our origin and we have some vector, we'll call it r, the arrow over the r just means it's a vector, and here we have our angle, so this means that that right there is r of x, and this right here is r of y, so our x and y components respectively. And so for part a, we are looking for the x component, and so the x component of a vector is equal to the magnitude of that vector. These bars just mean the magnitude of that vector, and that is times the cosine of the angle. We are given both the magnitude and the angle in the problem, so we can plug those directly in. This is equal to 15 meters times the cosine of 30 degrees, and if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the x component of r is equal to 13 meters. And now for part b, we're gonna do something very similar r of y is equal to the magnitude of r times the sine of your direction and this is equal to 15 meters times the sine of 30 degrees and that means that r y is equal to seven and a half meters. Just be careful when you plug these into your calculator that it is in degree mode and not radian mode. And just as a little sanity check, both of these components are positive, which makes sense because we are only in the first quadrant. So looking at both axes, your x component points in the positive x direction and your y component points in the positive y direction. So it makes sense that both of these are positive. And it also makes sense that our x component is larger than our y component because our angle is less than 45 degrees. This right here is a 90 degree angle. So if we were at a 45 degree angle, that means that our x and y components would be equal. But since we are at 30, that means that your vector is pointed more in the x direction than it is in the y direction, meaning that the magnitude of the x component needs to be bigger than the magnitude of the y component. So everything makes sense, and these two are your final answers to this problem. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.